Hi everyone, welcome to day 24 of my 100 days challenge. Today we'll be solving one of the SQL question asked in Swiggy Business Analyst interview recently to one of my subscriber. So let's see the question. So the question says you are given a table with the two column. One is called ID and one is called seat. In the seat we have one and zero. One represent the seat is empty and the zero represent the seat is full. Now we need to write a SQL query to find the seat ID where the seat itself as well as the seat before and the seat after are empty. So if you see this seat which is seat ID one and the seat one that means this seat is empty but if you see this which is seat id 2 and that shows 0 that means this seat is full so we need to find out seat id where the seat id itself is uh, empty and also the seat before which is this one is also empty and the seat after which is this one is also empty so we need to find out this seat id which is 5 because the seat before 5 which is 4 is also empty and the seat 5 itself is empty and the seat 6 itself is empty so let's see how we should solve this question now to solve this question i have created the same table and inserted this in data let's see the data so we have a table called cinemas and we have the same seat id which is one two seven and the seat which is uh, status which is one and zero one means empty and zero means full so what you need to find out the seat where the seat before and the seat after and the seat itself are empty now to solve this we can use window functions lead and leg because we need one row before and we need one row after now we can solve this question using simply window functions called lead and leg so i will just go ahead and create two columns one is using the leg and one is using the lead so based on this seat id so i can just go ahead and say that leg and i'm creating a new column on this column which is called seat id so seat id and I will say over and I will do order by this ID and I'm just going to name it call previous seat okay ID now this is going to this is going to give me the previous so for this seat ID for this seat ID the previous seat ID is going to be null because we don't know right but for this seat which is seat ID 2 the previous seat status that is going to be one right so i'm using a leg functions to get one earlier row of this column okay so this is what this is doing let's just run this query and let's see and i'm naming it as a previous seat now if you see here for this seat id one we don't have the previous status so that is the reason here we are getting null okay because this is a this is this query is creating a new column the column name is pre seat id which i have given right now here if you see for this id c id 2 this current status is 0 and the previous status is 1 so here we are getting 1 so using leg we are just getting the one row above right which is this row so here we will get this row and here we will get this row here we will get this row right so you can see it here now what i need we need next row as well so what we can do we can use lead functions instead of leg we can simply go ahead and say lead which is going to give us the next row so next row is going to be for this seat id which is one the current row value is one so next row value is going to be zero right so similarly for this next row value is going to be one for this next row value is going to be one for this next row value is going to be null because we don't we don't know that right so that is what we are saying so here i'm going to name it call next next seat id okay now let's run it now let's run it and let's see the result I'm given extra comma here let me just remove it okay now you can see that this to our original column which we already had in the table so this column we have created using leg and this column we have created using lead because see in the lead you will have the last column as null in the leg you will have the first column as null now using this window functions we are getting this previous seat ids status which is from here and using this lead functions we are getting the next seat id status now we can simply compare between these three columns which is seat id which is the current seat id then this is the previous seat id and this is the next seat id and if all these three column has one that means the seat id current seat id previous seat id and the next seat ids are empty because one means empty right so we can just write it here one equals empty right zero equals full right so we can use this column this column and uh, this main column that we already have right 
using in the where condition now these two columns we have created using window functions so we directly cannot use it here in a where conditions but we can go outside of this query and save this query in a city or sub query then we can use this two column so i'm just going to use a sub query here so i would say select and for now i just want to select everything and uh, everything from from so i will just put the below query inside this parenthesis so and this is going to create a table and this table i'm gonna name it called t1 and i will use where so where i will say that where the seat id seat id okay equals one and i would say the previous seat id equals one and i would say next seat id equals one so this is going to select the id that has the previous seat id as one the current seat id as one and this next seat id as one because the previous seat id one means it's it's empty and the current seat id one means it is also empty and the next seat id one means it is empty so basically we're going to get this id which is id 5 because this fulfill all these three conditions if you see the current seat id is one that means this is empty the seat before it itself also having one so that is also empty and next it also having one so that is also empty so at the end we should be getting this id which is this record right because you see this is the previous one this is coming from here and this is the next one this is coming from here so this is only fulfilling our conditions so let's go ahead and run it now the reason why we're using n logic here because we want to ensure this conditions this conditions and this conditions all three conditions are true we're not using or because we don't want only one conditions to be true okay. so let's go ahead and run it and i can see we are only having the one idea which is five because that is fulfilling all these conditions this current seed is one the previous seed is one and the next seed is one now if you don't need all this column you can simply go ahead and say you need id and what else you need you need seed id so this is how we have solved this question today so this is how we have solved this question today if you really like this type of content enjoy solving this type of challenge question do subscribe to my channel like the video and share it with somebody who need it have a good day see you tomorrow take care bye bye